Hello everyone and welcome to this new project on Creative AI. Creative AI is a new branch of artificial intelligence in which AI can create paintings, can compose music, and can write compelling stories as well. So um, I highly recommend that you guys check out the AIartist.org and this is essentially the world's largest community of artists. They are trying to kind of uh, apply AI to art, okay? So if you, if you guys remember, in the previous couple of case studies, we covered the applications of artificial intelligence in healthcare, in emotion AI, we also covered explainable AI as well, and we learned the, about the application of artificial intelligence in business, in marketing, and in finance as well. So here, we're just gonna shift gears a little bit. We're actually gonna apply AI to generate art for us to see like, uh, is AI creative, for example, or not? Can it actually become, can actually become, uh, I would say, at par with human uh, level creativity or not? So let's explore that. So I highly recommend that, again, you guys check out AIartist.org, and I also have the link here open. I'm gonna show, show you guys in a second. I also included a couple of um, links for you guys here. So this is an art creation with AI YouTube video. I also included the first movie trailer that has been created by AI as well. So it's not just paintings, you can actually create, you know, again, music, you can do stories and so on. And this is again, the infancy of that field. So if you guys check out the, uh, this link here, which is AIartist.org, this is essentially the uh, largest community of all the artists exploring AI in general. And if you guys can see here, there are a ton of artists and I selected here the, uh, one of the great artists here, it's uh, Memo Acton. So if you guys click on it, it's, this is essentially, he's a London-based artist and he's a researcher as well. And he's essentially, um, his projects are primarily used to um, use AI to reflect on ourselves, humans, and how can we make sense of the world as well. So here is an amazing, I would say, application it's called Deep Meditation. And this is essentially deep meditation is um, it's actually really cool. I would say it's, I believe it's one plus hour video. What happened essentially is that an artificial neural network has been trained with millions and millions of images, okay? Of everything related to life, love, art, faith, ritual, worship, and God. And what essentially happened here is that there, this is essentially a journey through imagination of the machine. So let me actually play it up for you guys for, um, for a bit. It's only like one minute, so let's go ahead and explore it together. All right, I, uh, I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Again, it's pretty amazing. This is essentially um, how you train, when you train an artificial neural network and you start to explore all the different hidden layers inside to try to kind of see what does this, these networks actually see. This is kind of, again, a prime example of that. Another uh, example that I have here from the AI, AIartist.org is um, a researcher, his name is Ahmed El, El Gamal. And he's essentially, his research primarily focused on whether AI can be creative without any human intervention or not. So I highly recommend uh, that you guys check out his uh, TED talk here. It's actually pretty cool. And um, also another, uh, another resource here is related to um, AI when it actually starts to create script for movies. So I actually watched this movie, it's called Sunspring. I highly recommend that you guys check it out. This is essentially a movie that has been totally created by AI, specifically the script of the movie. 
So what happened is that you feed the um, an LSTM network or long short term memory network with tons of corpus of text data. And then the network came up with this script and then here they filmed that movie. And there is also a lot of other as well uh, resources here. I highly recommend that you guys check them out. Another interesting link, which is related to um, IBM creation of the first movie trailer that has been created by AI. Actually, I'm just going to play it maybe for 20 seconds or so just to get an idea. So again, this is totally created by AI. All right, so again, please go ahead and uh, check it out. The other resource as well is how this guy uses AI to create art. I highly recommend that you guys watch this video too. It's a pretty long one. And um, what we're going to do is specifically in this um, project is that we are going to use an algorithm known as Deep Dream to try to create kind of, I, I would say, creepy images, like a trippy images. So Deep Dream is the most, I would say, freaky, creepy AI algorithm to date. And there is essentially a very important question that we keep asking is, we want to know what does an AI see? Like what's happening in the hidden layers? So if you guys remember when we built our convolutional neural network, is that we have many layers. We had early layers and these early layers try to kind of uh, check out the edges, maybe a little bit of curves, maybe simple features in the image. And then as you go deeper in the network, all these edges try to combine together to form a little bit of more complex shapes. For example, if it's a human face, then you find maybe like a couple of curves, a couple of edges, try to create maybe a human eye and maybe a little bit of nose and so on. And then as you go deeper in the network, you will come up with more complex shapes, like maybe a human face, for instance, okay? So what we're going to do here is that we're going to create actually a couple of beautiful images, something like that. So essentially, we're going to take an image and then we're going to superimpose on top of it all the different activations uh, what the, the, the network sees. So the lot, I would say there's a lot of math in here. So we're going to cover that again in, in great details. I just wanted to give you an idea of what we're going um, to cover. And there is actually an amazing, I would say, um, journey. It's called Deep Dream Journey on, uh, on YouTube. I actually have it open as well. I'm just going to maybe let it run for, uh, for maybe a couple of seconds for you guys. So let's go ahead and run it. All right, so this is essentially, as you guys can see here, we had a lot of dog eyes and a lot of animal eyes. And that's essentially what the network actually sees in the hidden layers, because these networks have been trained with millions and millions of images. And some of these images contains eyes of animals, for example. So when you try to run the deep dream algorithm, what we're trying to do is that we're trying to maximize what we call the activations or what the actual hidden layers could see. And that's essentially why do you see them in the uh, final output of the Deep Dream algorithm. Don't worry about it. We're going to discuss that in great details. Okay. So the question is, what is Deep Dream algorithm? So Deep Dream is a computer vision algorithm that is developed by Alex Mordvintsev at Google. And the algorithm essentially creates dream-like effect. So if you, if you give humans, I would say, like an extremely powerful drug like, like acid, for example, you will find that essentially these tri trippy hallucinations that humans see, we will try to replicate here, we'll actually be able to replicate here when we apply the deep dream algorithm. So as the image is increasingly fed to the network, you will find that more weird features will start to pop up. So uh, I would say quite a simple example is, 
let's assume that we have you know when you were a kid and you're trying to look for example at the at the sky and at the clouds you try to say maybe these couple of clouds maybe look like a horse or maybe these couple of clouds look like a dog for example that's essentially what you're trying to do because you have you're trying to relate what you have seen or what you're seeing right now or experiencing right now based on in, on what you have learned in the past or what you have seen in the past and that's essentially what we're going to do here when it comes to the deep dream algorithm so deep dream does exactly the same thing pretty much by trying to boost the patterns it sees in a given image based on what it has been trained or have seen before in the past when it has been trained earlier so if the network for example has been trained to see maybe animals in images it will try to extract animal features in any given image okay and that's essentially what we saw here when it comes to the journey on the um, deep dream journey all right okay so that's all what i have for task number one i hope you guys enjoyed it in task number two what we're going to do is we're going to import the model with pre-trained weights and we'll start to generate some activations based on that model please stay tuned i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and see you in the next one